settle in, friends. Oh, so as you are settling into the space where you are, welcome to our meditation time together. It is an honor to get to spend these few minutes together, just coming to the present moment, relaxing our physical selves just a bit, and finding some awareness of the gift that this life is in the here and the now. So very gently, just allow your eyes to either close or maybe you look down toward the ground. But just let all the distractions that are around you in the physical space where you are, just let them go. And as the eyes close or cast down, the distractions from our line of sight will become less. And then as you breathe slow and deep breaths, hopefully the distractions that you hear, maybe the sound of a air conditioner or the noise outside in the home or whatever's going on around you, just let it go. In the same way that you closed your eyes, kind of close off the ears a bit. And then just close off any physical tensions that you're feeling. Don't let them come in to where your heart and your spirit and your mind are. Just let them go. These moments are for you. And so together, let's just take a nice slow breath in and let it go. And another slow breath in and sigh it out. And one more deep breath in and let it go. Continue your rhythm of breath that feels right for you. And our focus tonight are some words that I actually found first thing this morning when I woke up. They came across my screen and they just really sat with me all day. I've thought a lot over the last few weeks about the shifting of our perspectives and how it can really change how we see the things that are happening to us and around us in life. And it's not perfect and I'm not saying that I succeed at it every day. But when I see quotes like this that I wanna share with you now, it's just a reminder that changing our perspective is where our power is. And so just listen to these words of this quote. It says, Sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but you've actually been planted. Just listen to that again. Sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but you've actually been planted. And when that came across my screen this morning, I get an affirmation every morning when I wake up and I saw that one and I thought, so many of us would read the first part of that quote and we'd stop. The part that says, sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried. And we put a period there. And then we'd kind of wallow and think, that's me. I am buried and there's so much that's out of my control. And there's so many places where there's suffering. And there's so many things that break my heart. But if we'll just see the totality of that sentence, the most important part comes after the comma when it says, but, but you've actually been planted. I talked a while back about how we go through these things and the darkness actually has something to teach us. And I think it's so true in what this quote says. You know, we take these seeds and, and you know that I love to garden and I love to grow things and I love to have my hands in the dirt and we, we, bear, we bury these things into the dirt and then we just trust that with some love and some care and some attention and some nourishment, that the thing that has seemingly been buried is all of a sudden gonna begin to grow. Y'all, that's our lives. We experience so many situations every single day. Some of them are small and inconsequential, but they're still an inconvenience to life, to our schedules. Some of them are big. Some of them feel like they break our heart in two when we experience them. But if we can just keep the perspective of, there's stuff going on around me right now and it feels really dark and I feel like I've been buried, but I know that as long as there's breath in my lungs, 
I haven't been buried. I am still breathing. I still have the capacity to give myself love and care and attention and nourishment. And then all of a sudden I'll begin to see that truly I've just been planted in whatever the situation is. It was really interesting and I always like to think of it as very divine intervention that this quote came across my screen this morning because John and I have had some things over the last month or so where we've really had to trust, to trust the unknown about some situations in life. And then all of a sudden today, things begin to shift in our world. There was some news that was given, some information that was shared. And we both just looked at each other and said, do you remember a month ago when we had the chance that worry could have consumed us, but we kept just trusting and trusting. And now here we are a month later living. Y'all, doesn't make anything worse, anything wrong with you because you worry. It's what you let the worry do to you. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. If you hurt and you feel pain, it's what you allow it to do to you. And we could have chosen a month ago to get really bogged down and really frustrated. It would have affected so many parts of our life. But we chose to just trust and to keep trusting and believing that if we're doing the right things with the right motivation, at some point, things have a way of working themselves out. Not always like we planned, not always like we wanted or expected, but that little seed that felt so buried and so dark and so disheartened begins to bloom. And then you walk out to your garden someday and you look out and all of a sudden there's vegetables and there's things that you can bring into your home to nourish you in a different way. And then you really begin to feel like you're part of a cycle. The dirt is necessary. The darkness is necessary because without them, there'd be no planting and there'd be no growth. And so with that idea, I would just invite you and I'm going to do it as well. Let's just sit for these next couple of minutes and just think to ourselves, what does my darkness look like right now? We all have different scenarios. Our darkness has different faces, has different names. But just ask, what does my darkness look like right now? Own it. Be familiar with it, name it, recognize what it is right now in your life. And then we're gonna work on shifting our perspective just a bit. But first, let's just sit with it. Sit with the darkness and be okay while you do it. And as you recognize what that darkness looks like for you, let's just ask this question, how do we learn to be with our darkness, to be with our suffering? And then how do we learn to not let the darkness now affect our later on? How do we let the darkness, the suffering that's now not affect our later on? And how do we get to a point where we can truly begin to trust in the darkness that we've just been planted and not buried and that we truly have a purpose whether we know what it is or not, the purpose is there. For some of you, your darkness has a face of a person and it could be a situation at work. It could be someone in your family. For some of you, your darkness has to do with sickness and illness 
and pain and disease. For some of you, your darkness is about something financial or a resource that you need and that you're lacking. And I could go on and on with all the examples. We've all experienced them. But as you've named it and you've owned it and you know what your darkness is, just continue to ask yourself the question, how can we learn to be with our darkness? And how can we learn to not let the darkness of the now affect our later on? And how can we learn to trust that within this darkness, we've truly been planted and not buried. And so let's just sit together for this last moment or so with those three questions just hanging in the air, being with our darkness, our suffering, and realizing it's now and it cannot, if we'll choose, it cannot affect our later on because we trust that we've just been planted and not buried. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. And then sigh it out. One more deep breath in. And sigh it out. And as we get ready to close our time, my wish for you is that in the next little bit, whether it's today or in the days to come, that every time you look around you and you see the grass or the trees or the flowers or the vegetables in a garden, whatever you see in nature, let that be a tangible reminder of this idea of being planted and not buried. Because everything you see in nature started off as something deep and dark under the soil. And now look what it's become. When you need the reminder, look around you. And then bring that understanding, bring that truth into your heart. And remember, we haven't been buried. We've just been planted. Namaste.